Hello, welcome back. Um, my name is Orlando, and we are going to be going over how to have a full five minute website setup. So it's going to be exciting. You're going to go from zero to basically having the framework for your website. So the first thing I want you to do is click on login on UN.com, click login, and then enter your login information for your hosting account. Once you're in, then you'll click on services. Then you'll click here in this area to act, uh, access your services. And now we're going to go ahead and log into cPanel. So next step is quite simple. Put a QU in the search area. Click on quick install. Really quickly, you'll see WordPress. Click on it. Click install WordPress and select your domain name. Use an email that you want to associate it for recovery purpose and so on. So, and then put the name of your blog here or the site title. Then put your username, whatever username you want to use. In this case, I'm a user Orlando. And fill in your name and your last name and click install. Click on no thanks, I'm a web designer for, for right now. And then click on view details. Well, and what you'll do is Control C or uh, or Command C to uh, to copy this uh, password, and then log into the admin area um, from right there. So and that's going to be the username. So you notice as is your domain name four slash wp dash admin. Now, go. Let's go ahead and enter inside of the um, dashboard, the WordPress uh, WordPress dashboard. And as it pulls up, the next thing we want to do is update the password that was uh, system created for you. So click on users and then click on edit. And once you have edit, scroll all the way to the bottom and click on generate password. Uh, I'm going to put high. Select the password here that you're going to that you're going to remember, something that you're not going to forget. And so for me, that's going to be well, saying something weak. Make sure this one's strong. Then after you have um, done that, click update profile. And now your password has been changed. Um, I, I noticed that WordPress uh, 4.51 is available, so I'm gonna go ahead and update that as well. And update now. And should be up and going, there you go, done. Next step that we wanna take is, let's go ahead and upload a theme. Um, so go to appearance and then click on themes and it'll bring you back to here. So you'll click on add new, uh, choose file. Uh, but before we do that, I have a theme that I have available for you guys on our website. So go ahead and go back to viewing, click on free design, download free theme, and you'll see it right down here. Uh, since I already downloaded, I'm going to go back to the site and simply upload it from the download folder. And there is my uh, free theme, and now I'm going to install it. Once it doesn't take too long to install, there we go. So now click activate, and bam. Now uh, it looks like there's also an update for the theme, and so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to import the demo for this uh, tutorial purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and click update now. Um, just to make sure that I have the latest version of the theme. And now if I go to the website, um, then there is my updated theme. Now there's a something called sample page here. This is where you're gonna have like home, shop, or whatever tabs you want towards the top. So what we're gonna do is go back and update that through the pages section, click there. And see where it's a sample home, uh, page. Let's click on edit there and put home there, uh, home, and then update. Next, you can go ahead and refresh your browser, and there, there it is. Um, the page was updated. The last thing I'll show you is how to add a new page, so you can do the next uh, tab. So click on new. And we'll name this one shop. And so now we'll click on publish. And let's 
refresh. One thing that I'll teach you real quickly is the order number. For example, if I wanted this one to be first or second or whatever order I want it to be in, just put it in there. And for example, next time if I add another page, it's not going to uh, show up based on which uh, character or letter comes first. So there you go. Stay, it's going to stay the same in this case. The, the last thing that I want to show you is, for example, um, assigning a specific page uh, from, for, uh, for your homepage. At this point, it looks like a post is the one that is uh, taking uh, president. So we want to go to reading. Um, here we go. Settings, reading. And then click on front page display, a static page. So unless you want to utilize your post. But for this case, let's go ahead and use a static page and it's going to be the home page. Um, and so click uh, save changes. And there you go. So you can go ahead and fill the rest of these out with all of the tabs that you want. And on the next tutorial, I'll teach you how to make those look really good. So um, this is just a quick uh, introduction on laying the framework for your website. Hope you liked it.